Good evening. Welcome to our examination service this year for our 15 confirmands. Of course, this year everything is so different, um, including this examination service. Normally, obviously, we'd be in the sanctuary and we'd be uh, going through a lot of questions and giving the children uh, opportunity to read their essays and such. Well, this year we're just going to have the students read their essays. But first, let's, um, let's have a prayer for these 15 confirmants. Lord God, Heavenly Pot, Father, through your means of grace, you began your good work of faith in these teenagers. You've blessed their training and instruction in your word so that now they look forward to their confirmation and to receiving Holy Communion. We pray that you would pour out your Holy Spirit on their hearts so that all their lives they may truly love and fear you, confess their faith joyfully and boldly, and with their lips and their lives glorify you, their faithful God and Lord. We ask this through Jesus Christ, their Savior and ours. Amen. I'd like to share one scripture reading here tonight before we get to the, the students reading their essays. This is from a rather famous chapter of the Bible, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, a chapter often called the Resurrection Chapter. And the Apostle Paul who wrote this, he, he writes a, a, a summary, a rather short one, that some refer to as uh, probably the, the first creed uh, of the early Christian church, a first statement of faith. This is what Paul said. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, and on which you have taken your stand. By this gospel, you are saved, if you hold firmly to the words I preach to you. Otherwise, you have believed in vain. For I received what I pass on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also, as to one abnormally born. For I am the least of the apostles, and do not even deserve to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Whether then it was I or they, this is what we preach, and this is what you believed. And so take a look at uh, these students as they boldly confess what they've been taught and what they believe. Anthony Barnes. Christ's redemption is a lot more than just dying on the cross. After learning all the suffering that Jesus had to go through, first, Jesus had to come from heaven to earth to a sinful world. Next, he had to live a perfect and holy life. Adding on to that, Jesus got tempted by the devil himself, the father of lies, Satan, Lucifer. And Jesus resisted the temptation. After that, people kept believing in him. Then the Pharisees kept trying to kill Jesus and get people to stop believing in Jesus, saying he is false. Finally, came the worst part of all the torture in Jesus' ministry, Jesus' crucifixion. He was horribly tortured by the Romans. His back was whipped to a pulp. He had a crown of thorns that had three-inch thorns pounded into his head with a hammer. He had a purple cloak put on his back and then pulled off because the blood dried to it. He could have avoided all that pain because he knew where and when the armies to capture him would be. He even asked God before he was captured if there was another way so he didn't have to deal with all that pain. Yet he still did all that and took the pain so he could save us from sin that humans brought into the world. 
and Jesus carried his own cross on the back that was whipped to a pulp, and the cross was about 100 pounds. Jesus, even on the cross, still forgave the soldiers that put him on the cross while he was taking our sins away. Jesus could have saved himself from all the pain and suffering and left our sins on us, but instead, he took all that sin and put it on himself. He cared so much for us that he died for us. And for that, I am extremely and eternally grateful. Tristan Biesterfeld. In order for Christ to redeem me, he had to go under tremendous punishment and grief. He had to be flogged, put a crown of thorns on, and he, then he was nailed to the cross. Since Christ did all this for me and all believers, all believers on earth can enjoy the glory of heaven with God. This means that God sees us just like Jesus, and we are perfect in his eyes. My name is Jacob Collins, and this is my essay. Jesus redeemed us and claimed victory over Satan. Knowing this, we, we also rise to be with him. Jesus' sacrifice for our sins was our ticket to heaven. Knowing that I was saved, I am and I can be certain that God has a place prepared for me in heaven. I'm Austin Hernandez. Christ gave his life for me, and this means that Christ loves me and everyone like we are his own children. God also loves us because he was the one that gave Jesus to us out of his mercy so that we can be with God. In five years, I'll first go to church to help me stay connected to God. I'll also be reading some Bible every day. Lastly, I will pray every morning and night to thank God and Jesus for what they have done for everybody on this earth. Morgan Hokinson. Christ's redemption is something that every Christian should understand and keep close to their heart. Christ's redemption is him suffering, bleeding, and giving his life for us so that all of our sins can be wiped away and we can go to heaven. Now, what does this mean to me? Wherever I... Whenever I go deep into thought about Jesus doing this all for me and every other person in the world, it almost brings me to tears. Because of all the terrible things that Jesus had to go through, we get to have the comfort of knowing that all our sins have been paid for and that we will go to heaven. Isaiah 53 verse 5 says, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. This Bible passage is one of my favorites and it really means a lot to me. It really shows that the suffering that Jesus went through was just so that he could bring peace to all of us. Without Jesus doing all this for us, we wouldn't even have a chance of going to heaven. That is why I think that everyone needs to understand how much Christ's redemption means to us. Ashlyn Hurley, what Christ's redemption means to me. Jesus Christ saved me. Christ paid the price of a ransom, saving me from sin, death, and the devil. Because my Savior, Jesus Christ, paid the ransom I deserve while I'm here on earth, I spread God's word and tell others Jesus is their Savior. Because I believe in Jesus Christ as my Savior, I know I will one day be in heaven. I will have eternal life in heaven all because Jesus paid my debt I die on the cross for me. My Father, my Heavenly Father wants all his children to go to heaven one day, so while I'm here on earth, I should spread his gospel. I would be a lost creature if I wasn't if it wasn't for Jesus dying on the cross to pay for all my sins and the world's sins. Without Jesus' death on the cross for the sins of the world, I would never get to go to heaven. Jesus was born perfect, but, but he died for an imperfect world. Jesus had both human and godly traits. That means he got sick and he hurt, but he never sinned. Even though I sin every day, I know that God still loves me. Jesus paid a horrible price just to save some imperfect people who needed to be saved. I also know that because Jesus Christ is my Savior, when I get to heaven, I will have, I'll have everything that makes me have eternal happiness because Jesus, because God knows me better than any human could ever. God knows what truly makes you happy. So if you believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior and you get to heaven, you will have eternal happiness because you'll have, etern etern you'll have eternity with God. This is what Christ's redemption means to me. Bianca, what does Christ's redemption mean to me? 
It means that Christ paid a ransom for us. By nature, we are slaves to sin, death, and the devil, but Christ saved us. Christ paid the price to set us free by his blood, suffering, and death. Christ redeemed me by dying on the cross for my sins, but he did it as an innocent man. Jesus had the precious blood of God. The Bible says Jesus redeemed us, which means he set us free from slavery, of sin, death, and the devil. Lance Mercer Podbielski. To me, his redemption means a lot of things. One of the main things it means to me is that I am not even close to being perfect, but Jesus' redemption has made me clean and holy. He cleansed me from all my sins. If Jesus didn't do this, there would be no chance of me going to heaven and living with God. But because of his great mercy, he has taken us in. So I think that we should also give others a chance to believe in God. So I want to share God's word with unbelievers or people that grew up in an environment with no religion. Also, for me, myself, I would work every day to strengthen my faith. We should give back to God because of what he gave to us. It was his own mercy that spared us. And that's what Christ's redemption means to me. Melinda Mercer Pabielski. Christ gave his life so that I could belong to God. That means that I don't have to worry about dying because I know that I'll go to heaven. Christ saved me and all of us from having to die eternally in hell with the devil. Thankfully, God sent Jesus to save us. In five years, I hope to be starting college on the path of saving lives as a surgeon. Not only do I want to be in a good college, but I also want to share my faith with people, even if it means that they stop talking to me. Sharing my faith may mean losing friends, but at least I tried to start people on the right path. I want to be a surgeon and save lives physically as well as try to save, share my faith and save people spiritually. I'm Jacob Mooney. Christ redemption means a lot to me. Christ redeemed me so that I can go to heaven. He loved me so he paid the price with his blood so that I can be with him in heaven. It was a lot. It means a lot that Jesus died for me and it changed how I think. It makes me more grateful and I want to hear more about what Jesus did for me in God's word. Jesus died so that I can live. He died so that all people make, can go to heaven as long as they believe that Jesus is their savior. Kaylee Perrin. Christ's redemption is by far the most important thing that I will ever learn about. It means everything to me and is the very thing that affects whether I go to heaven or hell. But thankfully, Christ already paid for the debt of my sin and everyone else's in all existence through his perfect life and innocent suffering and death. Because of that, just like it says at the end of the second article, all this he did that I should be his own and live under him in his kingdom and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness, just as he has risen from the dead and lives and rules eternally. Not only that, but I can have full confidence that I can go to Christ in every trouble and temptation and be sure that he will help me in every way that is best for his plan for me. That gives me great comfort every day. Zachary Rodriguez, Christ redeemed me by dying on the cross and descending in the hell. Then he rose from the dead and went to heaven. It means a lot to my eternal life because I was dead in sin. And if Jesus didn't redeem me, when I died, I would go to hell because of all my sins. Jesus did this because he loves me, meaning I cannot worry about death. Because with my faith in Jesus, I can go to heaven. It also means I can share the good news about Jesus so that more people can go to heaven. My name is Zachary Sadiga. Christ giving his life so I could be a child of God is very important to me. It means that I am in God's family. God has forgiven me for all my sins I have committed. He sees us in clear white robes because we are forgiven. Christ gave his life for me, I need to that. He took on all of my sins, and for that, I am so thankful. He loved me so much, he was willing to die for my sins. In five years from now, I will be serving the Lord. I will still go to church and serve him. In church, I will give offerings to God. And most of all, I will still listen to what Pastor says and strengthen my faith even more. 
I still put God first in my life and live for him each day. Isaiah Swanson. Redemption means a lot to me, and it should mean a lot for all of us. It is a thing that makes us different. It tells you and me that we are not just another animal on this earth. The fact that an amazing, all-knowing, all-powerful God would make the decision to save us proves we are different. More than that, it tells us that we are worth something, despite what anyone else or even we ourselves may think. It also tells us that all, what that all costs, which is Jesus' suffering and death. This is what it costs. It costs the life of a person and God that did nothing wrong. It was, the, it was a cost that he saw fit for getting us his perfect creation back. He did all of this just so we could be in heaven. In the past and even now, his creation has neglected, mocked, and even betrayed him. Despite all that, he still chooses to save us. Redemption means because of Jesus, we are all more than conquerors. This is what redemption means to me. Alexis Walmack. Christ plays a very important role in my life because he saved me and all other believers. My religion plays a huge role in my life because it is everywhere in a good way. My friends and family all share the same religion and make me stronger by showing good religious examples in my life. Christ brought me back from the devil with his innocent suffering, blood, and death so that he and so that he can save me and all believers in Christ so we too can be in heaven with God. God's word is important to me because it means that I will go to heaven and will be able to see family and friends have left this world before me. For example, I will know answers to some of the most troubling questions we ask ourselves when we are bored or just think of off the top of our heads. By the time five years will have passed, many things in my life will change. I will have graduated from ILHS, I will be in college and practicing for my future job. I will most likely be doing art stuff and connecting it to God's word, to some of my pieces, to bring others closer to Jesus. Hopefully, I still will be going to church and keeping my faith strong, as well as helping out with Sunday school and babysitting for the church for the time out for moms, children, so that the moms can have a relaxing four to five hour break. Let's pray for these 15 young, bold Christians. Lord, you have given these young men and women to us. You have used their parents to bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Here tonight, they've demonstrated their faith and their trust in you as their only way to heaven. Continue to bless them all their lives so that they may continue in this faith until you take them to your side in heaven. Lord, in the years to come, when temptation comes their way, remind them of your word. When doubts arise, assure them of your love. When troubles weigh heavy, may they take comfort in your promises. Use them, mold them, and motivate them to carry your word into the world. We ask this in your name. Amen. Have a blessed evening.